thought it was wonderful. Um, it's probably one of the only assemblies where I uh, captivated the entire audience of my high school. Um, I thought that the portrayal was so true and um, it was you were really it was really um, possible to to relate to all of the characters um, and you know just seeing it as a high school student um, we found it eerily similar to our public high school and um, you know afterwards we went and had discussion groups about it I think everyone was shocked and really touched and um, some you know people were talking about how how much one you know one one person um, one person affected everyone's lives and how you know that could be going the other way and how you know um, and how we need to make a difference and I loved it I didn't know I pretty much knew nothing about Columbine because you know when it actually happened we were too young to really understand it or to really, to really know what know what happened um, and this play it's not like it, it's not like it handed you the facts, but through all the characters and through their involvement in the situation and through what they said, you really got a feel for how the town reacted, what exactly happened, and I thought it was great. And also, we've had a lot of assemblies about serious topics where our classmates haven't really been mature, and that's kind of irritating. Um, but in this one, I can honestly say it was silent and I was amazed. I was hoping it would be like that and it was like that, which was surprising to me and, and it made the experience, uh, the experience so much better. I know like in one of our discussion groups after we saw the show, we spoke about um, Devin Adams in particular and we first talked about how she just was so real to us and how you can kind of imagine someone in your school being that character with that personality and feeling that way and saying how you couldn't hate these people because you don't want, because hate is what brought this tragic event to the school um, and to other schools around the country and around the world. Um, and, you know, as we were talking about, there might be some exaggerations of characters because it is a theatrical performance and it has to be a, like, a heightened reality. Um, there's definitely a truth throughout the entire piece and you believe these characters or these people and you believe what they were saying and I feel like everyone could relate to it because they could pick some person in their life and see a connection between that person in the show and that person in their community. So you felt like you knew some of these kids? Yeah, I mean, I, I never met them before, I never heard these names, but I was like, yeah, that's my friend, that's my teacher, that's my parent, that's my, my neighbor. Um, they were really real to me. Um, I know that, you know, kids talked about how um, easily it was, how they felt, how easy it was for kids to fall through the cracks and how that, they felt that um, the killers just fell through the cracks and that you know we as students need to take the initiative to be kind to everyone and to make sure that people don't fall through the cracks because you know we and how you know one character said in the play was Devin I think that you know you could hate them but um, hate is what started it and so hating people doesn't do anything it's you know being kind to people is what prevents things like this. It was stellar, no, but it really was. I mean, because we're doing the Lemmy Project right now and we are doing docudramas and seeing how you can just change from character to character. And her choices were so clear and she was so committed and it was so truthful. Um, and in a split second she'd be, you know, a grown man and the next second she'd be a 15-year-old girl talking about this uh, tragic event. So it was, and for that being so clear and so truthful, it made everything more clear and realistic um, for the audience. I thought uh, she portrayed all the characters very well. Even you, you know, she didn't. She didn't try to totally, totally make everything, make everyone completely different. It seemed like she mainly took one or two mannerisms from each person and really put them to work and really focused on those things, which which made a great distinction, but it wasn't too much. It was, it was perfect so that you could really tell what this person was like and you could really get a feel for the character. And what was, would you say is one thing you learned from the play or you might take away for your rest of your high school life? What year are you in? I'm a senior. Okay, well for your life in general, what did you? Well afterwards in the discussion sessions we talked about what makes people do this and 
as a class and me personally kind of concluded that it's not one thing it's not necessarily your parents um and it's not necessarily your friends or how you're raised or your school or video games or music it's kind of just something clicks in your brain and it might not it might not be some outside influence it might just be some chemical imbalance in your brain that you're born with you know who knows and so there really isn't a way to say this is what we have to do you just kind of have to think about everything holistically and try to make it try to make everyone's life a little bit better